My sister got me this book for Christmas. I thought I would do a quick review. The book is A Museum of Early American Tools by Eric Sloan. The book was originally published in 1964. The book is available in hardcover and paperback. The 105 page paperback retails for around $12. Eric Sloan was a relatively famous artist and writer. He was prolific at both, writing 38 books and creating nearly 15,000 paintings. He is renowned for his ability to paint the sky and clouds. His most well-known work is Early Flight Environment, displayed at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Sloan also had an interest in early American life and became an authority on early American tools. This book deals with tools made before the American Civil War. The book has illustrations on almost every page. The illustrations are very detailed black and white line drawings depicting the tools and how they were used. Sloan explains that craftsmen would purchase the forged metal heads of the tools and fashion the wooden handles themselves to suit their needs. For example, every craftsman kept an axe handle pattern to use each time he needed to make a new handle. These patterns were handed down through generations and differed in design from region to region. There is a really interesting illustration of how early axe heads were made on page 13. Sloan includes a thorough description of the different types of early axes and how they were used. I also like the section on how logs were transported downriver as rafts. I thought Sloan's illustrations of early braces were particularly well done. Although I think the whole book could be retitled Things You'll Find in a Barn, Sloan has two sections devoted to odd items he had been asked to identify. Check out the sugar devil and the goose poke. In the it's all in the way you hit it section there is a double clawed shaker hammer that caught my attention. Wonder if Scout Crafter has one of these. So overall I thought the book was a nice Christmas gift. I can definitely see me referring to it when I find strange looking ancient rusty tools at yard sales. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching.